So welcome back to another video here on the channel. And um, I have some interesting Halloween Kills news. There's been some other little Halloween Kills news here and there that I've not reported on because they just seem too spoilerish for me because I haven't really dived into them. This one's really interesting. Jason Blum is at it again, getting people's hopes up. I'm gonna put a full article here on the screen and the top of this. I really want you guys to check out this article because it's kind of hilarious. Jason Blum said Halloween kills will come out no matter what the circumstances are next year. Now, did he promise us that months ago about this year? Yeah, he did. A lot of people are mad at Blumhouse right now, and I think rightfully so. You're promising something with no guarantee. You shouldn't say this until June or May of next year. In my opinion. You should not say this right now. And you also, again, if you can't say it, I completely understand. But you also should say the VOD is a valid option. Instead, what he goes on about is... A vaccine or not, Halloween Kills is going to theaters. But I think you forgot about something. Um, theaters are limit capacity. And there's still a small sliver of chance that theaters will still be limit capacity come next October. So what does that mean? Halloween Kills will be the same situation as the New Mutants and Tenet. Now why do I bring up New Mutants and the Tenants? Is because Tenet and the New Mutants... They had the bright idea to put them in limit capacity theaters and where people still scared to go out. Of course, the new mutants and tenant was flops because of what how they how those films was handled. This really upsets me how Jason Blum is Blumhouse is handling Halloween kills. This is kind of a Blumhouse rant, as you can obviously tell. Why is this a Blumhouse rant? Because I'm kind of tired of Jason Blum hyping people up, getting people's hopes up for something that's, that, is, that could not even be possible. You know, I've said this. Again, there's positives and there's negatives to Halloween Kills getting delayed next year. But I think a lot of people can't agree. Halloween Kills could have been released this October. You gotta think, drive-ins are booming right now. They're very popular. Everybody's going to a drive-in right now. Everybody. So, why couldn't Halloween Kills go to limited capacity theaters, right? Drive-ins and a VOD release. That's your money right there. Are you saying that Michael Myers is not a popular character? Because if you're saying that, then why did you pick up the license and make Halloween 2018? Why? If you know that he wasn't a popular character, why did you pick the franchise up? Did you do it for money? Because it don't seem like you did. Unless that's your original, that was your original plan, but you couldn't do it. Because you knew how us fans was going to get. So you had to make a, a good movie. Stuff like this really upsets me. And then off topic for a minute, off, um, off topic about Halloween Kills, he goes on to discuss about the craft. This is why I get more angry. Because he goes on about the craft saying... It's all about timing. If you don't know the craft, too, is what we, what will be happening in our, in the and talk. The craft two will be releasing this month. Barely any promotion, barely anything, and it's only going to VOD. Okay, not a problem. But to me, he's throwing the craft. Just he's just throwing it out there because he knows it's not gonna make any money. He's throwing it out there. Why can't the craft go to limit capacity theaters and drive-ins as well? You also have to look at their newest movie, which, which will be coming out next month, Freaky. That's going to theaters? So, basically, again, you have to look at how they're doing their movies. It's weird. Because Freaky is going to go to theaters. But theaters are limited capacity. So, how is Freaky going to be a box office success... If theaters are in limited capacity, why ain't Freaky going to VOD? Why ain't Freaky going to drive-in? I've even read this thing, drive-in movies will be getting Oscars. So new movies that will go to the drive-ins will get Oscars. So you can see that the movie industry is changing. And these theatrical companies and these studios are so behind in the old times. I love the movie theater experience. I love sitting in the chairs with the big screen. I love that whole experience. 
But times are changing fast, and I think people need to wake up. People's going to dislike this video. People's going to hate on the video and disagree with me and say, well, you know, Blumhouse is making the right statement. If that's what you think, totally respect you. But you also need to see where I'm coming from, and that is... He's saying he's not holding the movie, but in reality, you are holding the movie. You're promising something to us that you would promise us months ago. You're throwing the craft out there, knowing that it's not going to be a success. That's why you're just throwing it out there and you say it's timing. And then you're doing another movie, Freaky, this year, which you're just going to put in a limited capacity theaters. I don't know why you think that's a good idea. Not only that, he goes on to say he feels like the craft is a perfect October movie to be released. Excuse me? See, that's where us Halloween fans kind of have to chime in a little bit because he goes on to talk about how the craft is all about timing and the craft is good to release in October, yada, 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 right? So you're saying Halloween don't deserve to be in October. In so many words, I mean, not really. That's not really what he's saying, but in so many words, yeah, he'd rather have the craft release in October. But see, could it be a bigger thing here? Could it be this was their plan all along? I mean, you never know about these studios. Could this be their plan all along? What's to delay Halloween Kills? And they just put the whole coronavirus, the whole COVID thing on top of there so it could be a little bit more believable for people. Because they'd rather just throw the craft out there this month and just have Freaky out in November. They're already having two movies out this year. If they'd had Halloween Kills come out, that would be three movies for Blumhouse. Think about that. I mean, it, I mean, it's just a wild theory, but you never know about these movie studios. You never know what goes on in their heads. My thoughts. But I feel like a lot of these theatrical companies and these movie studios aren't ready for next year. There has to be a VOD and a drive-in option. There has to be. If there is not, don't come, you know, don't, you know, don't come, don't, you know, you know, don't come complaining to us that the movie wasn't successful. That was your fault because you didn't strategize. I said this, you know, time, time again, movies that will release in January, February, all the way to May, automatically have to have a VOD option. Fast and Furious, that has to have a VOD option. It has to have it. Because I don't, because P. People in general think this. After December thirty first, a light, you know, a a um switch is going to flip, and the whole COVID is going to disappear. Life don't work like that. Life will never work like that. A switch is just not going to flip and make everything better. It don't work like that. These studios, these theatrical companies, think that. Why I have no single clue. But why I am mad at Jason Blum and Blumhouse right now is because he's saying he's not holding the movie, but he is holding the movie. He's promising us something that, you know, that may not even happen. I mean, I try to stay positive, but I see Halloween Kills going to VOD and limited capacity theaters. At least that's what it should be. That's what it should have been this year. Let that really sink in. Let that really sink in. Yes, there's positives and negatives. For Halloween Kills getting delayed, but let that really sink in. Let that really sink in. Why couldn't Halloween Kills been released this year? Why couldn't it have been released this year? Why couldn't they wait till August to see kind of, you know, like mid-August, you know, to kind of see, you know, where things would be. Still, you know, promote the film, but kind of just see, you know, what it, you know, how things would be. No, they had to delay it like that. It's really upsetting to us Halloween fans. I'm gonna put the full, like I said, I put the full article all ac all across here. I'll put it in the top description because I really want you guys to check out this article. Everybody's mad at Blumhouse. Everybody's mad at Jason Blum right now. I think for rightfully so. I know we'll get dislikes, and we all have opinions. I have my opinion. You have your opinion. But I feel like how I feel, and as Jason Blum is totally lying, because how can he go saying? We're not holding the movie, but you are holding the movie because there's so many ways it could be released this year and still make your money, but you want to do it. Then you say that it will go to full capacity theaters next year, but how do you know that? There's so many things. Basically, what Jason Blum said in this article, don't believe it. 
There's going to be people that believe it. Please, please do not believe it. One single bit. Do not believe it. Do not believe it. I'm telling you, do not believe it. Because I know there's people like, well, he's right. This is a pandemic. This is a virus. We have no word. We do not know when this is going to go away. It just don't disappear. As some people think that it does. My opinion on this whole situation, us Halloween fans, us horror fans in general, should be mad at Blumhouse. Because how can you, again, go from saying... You're not holding the movie, but you are holding the movie. And there's thousands of ways to release a movie nowadays. The movie industry is changing, but I guess you want to get left behind. You know, AMC, AMC, one of the biggest companies, says they will run out of money by the end of this year. One of the big, then there's just one big cinema company that closed their doors permanently. Let that really sink in this whole, the whole movie industry is changing but these theatrical companies and these studios don't want to believe it. They don't want to open their eyes and see what's right in front of them. I can guarantee you, Halloween Kills does not have a VOD option on the table. It don't have a VOD option. They're 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 thinking, oh, we're going to you know put it into theaters. But see, that's the thing. They they have no choice. But to put it on VOD and to put it in limited capacity theaters. You cannot keep delaying a movie. Look what happened to Wonder Woman 1984. That movie kept getting delayed and delayed. Why do I bring up that movie? It's simply because there's no hype for it. Do you hear talk do you hear people do you hear people talk about the new Wonder Woman? Barely. Because there's no hype for it anymore because they kept delaying and delaying it. There's so many big movies out next to as well. So even if movie theaters go back to full capacity, still have that VOD option there for people. Because there's so many big movies coming out next year. Not every single body can see a big movie. Not everybody can see a big movie. They could probably scramble something, you know, a you know, for the VOD option. Still have that VOD option there for those type of people that cannot afford to see like three movies you know three huge blockbuster movies that come out in the same month have that option there for people i don't know but i'm very curious to see what your guys thoughts on this full article and then you know you know in the description again like he talks about the craft that that something you know that uh, that makes me mad because the craft too looks all right you know you know but he's just throwing that movie out there Barely any promotion, and you say that fits the Halloween the spooky season. Sure, whatever. Um, as you just the like button, if you agree with me, please let's have a dis I can't talk. Let's have a very respectful con you know can't talk at all. Let's have a very you know very respectful discussion in the comments. Hit the notification bell to never miss a single upload. Do I still appreciate Blumhouse? Yes, I still like Blumhouse. But I feel like the way they're handling their movies, especially Halloween Kills and even The Craft and even their new movie Freaky, it's wrong. It's really, really wrong to us horror fans. But hey, it is what it is. But um, if you subscribe like button, please subscribe all of you. You heard me. Catch you guys in the next video.